Gary Rowett's pre-Sheffield Wednesday press conference started with a reflection on Blue's last result, a hard-fought 0-0 draw against Bristol City. Probably wouldn't describe it as a blip, but I think you always get those games where perhaps um, you've been really, really good in two or three games, and then you always get that type of game where you wonder whether the, um, I wouldn't say the motivation's there, but whether sometimes certain games you have to get yourselves up for the games and you make sure that you're, you're mentally right um, and physically right for those games. I think sometimes when you go to like a Bristol, you know, there's one stand new, but with no one in it, it's a different type of atmosphere um, and a different type of pressure for us, because of course people look at those type of games and think perhaps you should win them. But Bristol have been, strong at home this season, you know, perhaps the results haven't suggested that, but they've been good in some of the games that I've seen, certainly, uh, and it's not an easy game, so uh, we didn't play with enough energy early on in the game, enough tempo first half, certainly, couldn't really give you a def definitive reason why, but second half, once again, you know, we picked up and we were stronger, and that's been, that's been the pleasing thing for me, is when I look at uh, the fitness levels of the team and the strength of the team and the character, if we've not played well first half in games, you, know, you can look at the Preston game, you can look at perhaps the Middlesbrough game. We've been excellent in the second half and we've come really strong towards the end of games. So, so certainly we're finishing games well and, and you know, we're, never, uh, we're never out of those games. The transfer window slammed shut on Monday night and the manager was delighted to have a hectic month over and done with. Well, I'm just relieved it's closed full stop. Jeez, wow. It um, certainly takes a lot of energy, I think. It's, it's, a, it's a strange week, I think, building up to that because there does come a point where, you know, there's, there's times when you have to jolt yourself and say, you know, we have actually got a game this weekend, um, you know, because 95% of your energy is, is put into, you know, the players you sign because, of course, those players can define your season and, and can dictate where you finish. So therefore, in some ways, it becomes even more important than the next game. Um, but I think that, that, that's a certainly a difficult thing to manage. So I think pleasing for us that we managed to get our business done a little bit earlier than normal. Vaughan, Ryan Shotton, um, Buckley, Fabrini, good players. You know, I think the rest of the team see that as well and they see the, the quality we're trying to bring in. I think every time we try, bring, try to bring someone in, we, we raise the quality and the competition within the group. I think that, that um, I've always, you've always had that balance, which I think I'm always mindful of, is you don't want to tip that team togetherness over the edge, but uh, you certainly need options. You know, with some of the games coming up, I think after the next two or three games, we've got a real period where there's lots of games and some of the, uh, some of the planning is going to have to be spot on with that. So we're going to need options. We're going to need lots of options. Um, and sometimes one of those players starting or coming off the bench, that extra little bit of quality might just be the difference in some of those games that, that, that dictate where you finish. So they've all settled well. Um, they're all good characters, which is always something that we're, we're, we're really strong on. Um, and I think when, when you've got good characters and they work hard, they, they get taken in by the rest of the group a little bit quicker than normal. Saturday's opponents inflicted a heavy defeat against Blues on Boxing Day, a result that's fresh in the memory for Rowett and his side. We played them not too long ago. Um, it's probably one of our poorer results, I would say. Um, you know, performance-wise, it uh, wasn't brilliant, but there wasn't an awful lot in the game up until maybe 30 minutes. Um, just lack of attacking quality from our point of view. Uh, a couple of really, really poor goals to concede made that game um, too far for us. But they're a good side. You know, any any side that's got the likes of Forest, the Aryan, um, you know, can can. Um, can cause you problems, Bannon dictating the game. They've got lots of good players, you know, it'd be remiss for me to name all of them. Someone like Zhao, um, a Portuguese international on the bench, you know, that shows the, the, the strength and depth that they got, bringing the likes of Aidan McGeady in from Everton. Uh, they've got lots of options and they've got some very good players. But again, you know, you could say that about probably 50% and more of the championship clubs. Um, in this division that they've got lots and lots of options of, of very good players so it's up to us to again come up with a game plan execute it a little bit better than we did away from home um, and try to continue this good home form you know we've we've won the last four in the spin league games um, we've only lost one game in ten so we should be going into this very very uh, very confident of what we're capable of achieving